steamed date pudding with a glorious butterscotch sauce. They weren't called desserts in those days, were they? No, it was puddings, yeah. Puddings. Now, I'm going to sieve the flour. Would you... I'll chop here, shall I? Chop those dates, please. That was a favourite, wasn't it? Amazing. Sew it in. OK. But it was almost like an old-fashioned dessert, wasn't yes. it, steamed? And everything was sort of steam. You had jam, roly-poly. Mm -hmm. So the zest of the orange makes that really nice and fragrant and sort of helps cut that richness of the suet. OK. Yeah. Brown sugar in. This is such an easy recipe. It yeah. is. Looks fantastic on the table. And then treacle. Treacle in. Oh, look at that. There's something quite magical about a spoonful of treacle. Can you add them in there, please? Thank you. Will do. And crack an egg. Lightly whisk it and mix that into the milk. If I pour in the egg and the milk, would you give that a little mix-up, please? Yep. Thank you. Nice. Nice and slow. <laughs> Don't go too fast. You see, I always used to think that it was an old-fashioned dessert, steamed pudding. Do you ever remember me tumbling around your knees trying to sort of get in there? Yeah, so you like to lick the bowl, didn't you? All the time. Yeah. Now, lightly grease the mould. You're always willing to help, mm -hmm. but not with washing up. Some things never change. I think I was allergic to the soap. That was your excuse. Kids will enjoy this tonight, won't they? Yeah, uh, delicious. Paper. That goes on. So the secret behind the parchment paper is to keep that nice and tight. Tight, yeah. There we are. Good. Now, mm. oh. <laughs> hey, wash my hand. <laughs> Come on. Tightly cover with foil and place in a pan of water and let it steam for around two hours with a lid on. Are you going to wash up, Gord? <laughs> One more place. Hey? <laughs> Just again. for once, wash up. <laughs> Mr. Remedy. Oh, dear goodness. <laughs> you like that smash? Mum, you handed it to me and you dropped it. Come on. I didn't drop Whilst it. Whilst Mum forces me to break the habit of a lifetime. Dear, oh dear. That's the thought of you washing up. It does that to you. Here's how to make an amazing butterscotch sauce to serve with the pudding. Add butter into a pan, brown sugar, golden syrup, and a pinch of salt and vanilla seeds. Melt and combine over a medium heat. Stir in the cream and simmer until thickened. That's the taste of my childhood in a jug right there. And it will keep in the fridge for a week. Right, homework done? Yep. Beef stew is stewing. Stewing. Let's get on with our delicious, hearty pear tart. I've been looking forward to this. You and I, chef, are going to prep the pears. So if you peel, I'll top and tail into quarters. Pears go soft in the oven very, very quickly. So if we're going to put them on a tart, you'll need to leave them whole, half or in quarter. What's that in there? Ginger. Mm, that's right. A stem ginger. So we're going to use stem ginger and fresh ginger. Next, add your stem ginger, a little of the stem ginger syrup... Good girl. ..and some brown sugar to your quartered pears. And then just grate some fresh ginger. Off you go. So it's a bit of a um, different one to grate this because it doesn't really come through like the cheese. No. We'll make that a little bit zesty. And now we've got some lemons. Some lemon zest in there. Right, what I want you to do now is give that a nice little mix. Now, this is a sweet pastry. You can buy this stuff. We can make it. It's so easy to do. So give me your finger. That's my centre point. I want you to get the pears going round like that in a really nice circle. It's difficult, isn't it, because the pears keep on sliding all over the place? Yeah. We've got egg wash on the outside, and I'm going to show you a little trick. So you lift that up. So is the egg wash acting like a bit of a glue? That's right. Crimple this with our finger. And the pastry forms this nice little shelf, like a little money bag. Are you going to do anything with the spare pears? Oh, yeah. You start building that up, then, you see? We've got the fresh ginger and those nice little bits of stem ginger. Let me go round my egg. With your glue. With my glue, just on top. Tilly's last job is to give our tart a good dusting of icing sugar. 
So that caramelizes it and colors the pears beautifully. It's a bit mm. like snow. Isn't it? Now that glazes the pastry, so the pastry has this really nice shine on there as well. Finally, the lemon on top. And then put that there. 180, and in she goes. Our pear tart has had 35 minutes in the oven. Look at that, baby. That looks good. Mm. Mm. Would you like me to start dusting? Yes, please. Nice and gently all the way around. Good girl. Little taps. The others are going to love this. It looks a bit like a snowy cake. Doesn't it? Good job. Now, very carefully carry that to the table. How nice does that look? Delicious. OK, I'll check on the dumplings. A rich and zingy pear and ginger galette. Next up, dessert. Delicious. Poached pears. I love pears. Really? Yeah. So we're going to poach them oh, yeah. with a little bit of chilli. Chilli? Never heard of that A little before. bit of saffron. No? No. Now, pan on. Take off a little slice like that, so they stand up nicely, and then peel. OK, then. And then the chilli, you know, hold that up and just go down. Yep. Through and open that up. OK? Into the water. Seeds in as well. Seeds in as well. Hello, oh, hello, Holes. Hi, Holes. What is that smell? It smells so good. We've got the most oh, amazing hot style in there. Hello, mate. Mm. Are you well? Yeah, good to be. Hello, mate. Hi, Hi, How is your day? Mm. So, what were you making, Dad? So, we're going to poach these pears, a little bit of chilli, water, chili? and sugar. What are they, Holes? Oh. Is it saffron? Yeah. It's exactly that. Saffron is expensive, but you only need the tiniest little bit. A little pinch to make that water go light and golden. Star anise. Like, how come it's the chilli? You've, like, sliced it at the end and it's not put in whole. I want all that flavour coming out of the chilli. We're going to make the most amazing star anise dust. Star anise dust? Dust. 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 You get your star anise in there, mm -hmm. seed up and then in. See all those little seeds? Yeah. And then... You start grinding. A little teaspoon of ginger. Give it a nice mix. Thank you, mate. And that's going to dust the top of the pears once they're cooked. Right, get your pears. Drop them in there. And that's what we're going to sprinkle. Mmm. Ginger and star mm. anise. Wow. How nice is that? It's very good. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So, once they're cooked, cool down, sprinkle that over the top. Right, have you guys got homework? Yes. Yeah. See you guys Come later. Come back shortly. Thank you. Later. Love you, Dad. Love you, Nana. Love you, too. Bye. Turn that down Bye. and let them pour. Bye. OK. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. After an eight-minute simmer, our pears should be ready. Now, just get your knife, Mum. Put the knife through and see how easy the knife is. So that means they're soft and cooked. Now, you can leave them in that overnight, two or three days. All right. And they just get darker and more beautiful. Mm. The good thing about the cooking liquor is that you don't throw that away because you can use that again for repoaching. Beautiful. I mean, they look impressive. They smell delicious, don't they? Don't they? Mm. Mm. Look at the colours now. It's lovely, isn't it? The colours are amazing, man. And just... Delicious. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then take your little star anise dust and just dust over. Oh, look at that, that's lovely.